how did you start to overcome your own nice guy syndrome? Yeah, so get this right. So with the nice guy syndrome, I realized, and I guess on the spiritual journey, you realize it was an inner trauma that because of all the shit I went through as a kid, I didn't feel accepted or I didn't feel loved or I wanted people to like me because I had all that pain and rejection. So then I became a nice guy and a people pleaser because I wanted to fit in. I wanted people to like me. I cared about what other people thought of me. I watched my language around people, you know. I was in customer service. I had the customer service voice. I was just the nicest person, happiest person ever, standing there eight hours a day. Internally, I was f***ing miserable, but I was just dealing with shit after shit and just being the nicest person possible. And you really build thick skin over time. But I noticed anytime someone like swore, raised their voice, I would get this like shudder in my stomach and like this anxious feeling. I'm like, oh God, what's he doing? He's, he's flipping out. He's like, why is he yelling at me? <laughs> and what it was avoiding you though. Because, well, I was avoiding conflict for one. And what it would do was it's like that whole thing when you have an argument with someone and then it's over, but you spend the whole night thinking about what you should have said and it just eats you up. And that's, it's horrible. It's a horrible feeling that no man should go through. It's like, I should have spoken up about this. And some people, they spend years on that. I should have spoken up at this time, or I should have, you know, put my foot down at this time. Five years go past, look at all the consequences that have happened. Huge cost of inaction. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got something out of it and you want to learn more, click the link below or type in High Performance Conversations with James Can, and you'll be able to check out all the podcasts that we've done. We cover a stack of different topics, everything from getting your mojo back, overcoming anxiety, self-doubt, self-esteem, and learning from some of the industries and some of the world's top performers in both business and in health. Look forward to having you on there.